Hello? No, it isn't. I told you before it isn't. Well, it's wrong. Oh. I'm coming, Carol. Come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry about the phone. It was the wrong number. This is the third time. I'm so jumpy about Mom every time the phone rings. How is she doing? Oh, lying in a hospital bed. It was hard seeing her like that. So, oh, a new coat? Huh. I love it. On sale at Talbot's for a song. <laughs> well, I feel so frumpy. Uh, the place is a mess, forgive me. Oh, don't apologize. I wish I could let my apartment be this relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily overwhelmed. Well. It's understandable. You're suffering such close to the bone stuff. What do you mean by that? Your mom in the hospital. You a thousand miles away. I guess so. Um, so, what's your news? Uh, it must be really big to bring you over here. What time is it? Like nine o'clock in the morning? Would you believe? Oh my God! City blackout. I. I love that poem. Charles Flanagan, the New York Yorker stationery. Oh my God, five hundred dollars. Um, here, read it aloud. Okay. I want the full impact. City blackout. No street lights. A few candle muted windows without electrical amusements. Night comes closer in New York. Doors shut her early and neighbors cluster on stoops. Sudden firecracker bursts and little boy cheers. Dare the dark. The air's a thick tent. Camels munching desert shrubs. Bedouins around the fire. I look out, tell time with the stars. I like how shudder and cluster go together. I had gather. Oh no. Cluster is better, and it anticipates the stars. I really needed this with Daniel and all. That stroke was so scary. I thought he was having a heart attack, and it took EMS so damn long. You more than deserve this, Carol. The timing couldn't be better. And I bow to your persistence and your patience. So you would like some tea or something? Oh, I almost forgot. Okay. Ginger thins. Oh. Want one? <laughs> Just one? Just one. Oh, I could eat the whole box in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Get these away from me. The New Yorker. 20 years of trying. <laughs> You knew what you were doing. We've got to celebrate. Let's get wasted on cappuccinos. <laughs> Let's have dinner at Taverna Moderna tomorrow. I just love their ravioli. Huh, I want their squid. It's the only squid I've ever eaten that doesn't taste like plastic. Um, did uh, Charlie tell you when your poem would be published? He said in six to nine months. Now, aren't you glad I didn't let you meddle? I wouldn't call it meddling. Oh, I would. What other word would you use? Helping. How about helping? Offering to call Professor Levinson because he's pals with Charles Levinson is a lot more than helping. It's networking, Carol. Everybody does it. Everybody but you. Either I get accepted on the merit of the words or I don't get accepted. I can live with that. But you've been trying to get in there for almost 20 years. This is how I choose to serve my work. You know, not all nepotism is bad. Most writers use connections. You didn't try to send it without my permission. Uh, don't be ridiculous. I've got enough problems managing my own career, let alone my disastrous social life. You're so lucky to have Daniel. Are you sure you didn't meddle? Yes, I'm sure. You swear? This is absurd. 
word. Do you swear? Yes, I swear. <laughs> Can't you just let yourself enjoy this? Ah, you're right. My therapist says I have trouble celebrating. <laughs> you're worthy. You deserve this. It's long overdue. I guess success is to my forte. <laughs> Mine either, but we've both got to try. Oh, the frickin' phone. I'm not picking it up. So maybe it's mom. Well, nah, it's probably a wrong number. They're, they're not leaving a message, those pigs. I can't help it. I'm starting to feel a cloud over all this New Yorker stuff. Carol, enough already. No, no, no. Let me ask you something. This is just ridiculous. A couple of minutes ago, you called Charles Flanagan Charlie, right? I don't remember. If you called him Charlie, you must have had some previous contact with him, and it must have been recent, because in the past you've always referred to him as Charles. So now you're Columbo. <laughs> also, we had a big publication discussion with you carrying on and on about how I should network. In fact, I hadn't just about knocked the phone out of your hand to keep you from calling Professor Levinson. And then? Ten days later, I, I get an acceptance? Yeah. Log on for me. Log on for me. I want to email Charlie. Wait a minute. What would be so terrible if I did pull some strings? Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe you did this. I'm not saying I did. I'm just saying what would be so terrible if I... So you did, didn't you? Well, I'll... sort of. Professor Levinson hooked it up for me. I talked with Charlie on the phone. But you knew I didn't want you to do that. But doesn't it make you feel good that someone cares about you that much? You should feel happy. I feel violated, disrespected, ignored. Can't you accept it as a gift? <laughs> it's not a gift. It's an intrusion. Oh, I should have known the timing. Daniel's stroke. It's so obvious. Dare the dark. I don't know why you're so upset. I dared the dark for you. No, Laura, you blew up our friendship. Think about it. How can I ever trust you again? It's creepy to think that someone is tiptoeing behind your back. This is way beyond meddling. You're so <laughs> damn rigid. You select literary uh, journals like somebody picking strawberries out of a wilting salad. You're such a puritan. I'm careful. That's how I choose to serve my work. You know, you can be quirky. I've always liked that about you. But this time, you've gone too far. But I wanted to relieve you, like my dad. I don't know if I ever told you this story, but when I was about six or seven, my father came. I told you the story, didn't I? I know. Halloween, your dad following you hiding in the bushes, and then, when you were too tired to keep going, he magically appeared and piggybacked you all the way back home to the bathroom. You've told me that story a couple of times. Well, I felt so grateful, so, so taken care of, so happy. Underground forces that cared about me were at work. I wanted to keep your dream alive. I know how much Daniel means to you. I wanted to look out for you. It's not the same. You were a little girl. You needed a protector. I'm an adult. I don't need that kind of protection. Though lately, God knows I miss it. <laughs> miss it? You think you miss it? <laughs> I spent three days watching Mom lie in a hospital bed. My mother, who used to be up at dawn and color coordinated right down to the girdle that held up her stockings. She managed a hotel for 10 years after Dad died. And now to see her being turned every two hours so she won't get bed sores. She outlived her money. A year ago, she was still pretty good, a little slower, but she still played bridge. She was still glued to CNN. 
She was still on my case about losing 10 pounds. Now she's wasting away. I miss my mom. And she's still alive. But she can't be my mom anymore. She can't even take care of herself. I feel like I'm dissolving. Carol, don't go. Please don't go. This is too much. I feel faint. Please. Just breathe. 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 I feel so pain, faint. Just stay a minute. Please stay. Please. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Breathe. Please don't go. Where are you going anyway? I, I, I need to digest this. I need to go away. I'm so upset. One thing I know for sure, I'll never let them publish it. Never, never, ever, and I am mailing this back. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I knew it was out of line, but I just had to do it. Especially with Daniel's stroke and all. I wanted to make something turn out nice. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. You're my best friend. You got in my pocket. Go back to your therapist. Stay out of my pocket. I feel so dizzy, <laughs> like I'm losing my balance. Oh, God, I can't tell if my heart's still beating. Oh, I need an aspirin. Yeah, Dr. Markowski said I've got the beginnings of a blockage. Oh, God. It's oh. probably anxiety. Oh, oh, Carol, she can't be my mom anymore. What can I do? I've been screaming in my sleep again. I'm so lonely. I know you've been suffering. Pick an object. I think this is yoga. Focus on it. Look, how about this red scarf? No, I can't. Um, the TV. No, no. How about this? Uh, your green spiral notebook. That's my journal. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry. I'm going to call Daniel and I'm going to tell him that I'm going to be late for lunch. Oh, Laura.